Hey air signs, welcome to Pure Black Magic Tarot. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into this reading. This is going to be your collective message for the week of April the 30th through May the 6th. Give or take a couple of days, very general messages for the air sign collective. So please do not force this reading to fit. If you are seeking a private session with me, you can find that information in the description box below in regards to booking. Um, and if you are new here, you can find the full length of this video on my Patreon along with a lot of other perks. Um, so YouTube gets the videos on Monday and it's in partial form. Those who are on my Patreon gets early access on Sundays and you get to view the entirety of each weekly um, video. So all of that's going to be in the description box below, you guys. Let's go ahead and hop into it. So the cards are talking already for you. We have material and spiritual prosperity for you guys this week. Um, I'm going to put it back. I'm going to pull some more energy. But right now, Air Signs is looking like something is very fulfilling this week. Okay, so something could be moving to the next level. You could be seeing the growth in something, the elevation in something, feeling very optimistic about something or someone. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and put this back. Let's get some more energy, see what else comes out for you guys. We'll pull like a card or two just to see what's ahead, but it already feels very good for you guys this week, okay? Maybe you're getting some sort of clarity. I saw the awareness card. Um, so let's see. And then we'll pull tarot to see the extra details, what's going on for you guys this week. Clarity confirmation for my air sign spirit. What's going on with their energy? Please take a second to go ahead and hit the like button on this video, you guys. It helps to get the content circulated on YouTube. And it helps me to come back to give you guys these lovely messages. So let's see. Gemini Libra Aquarius. What's going on with your energy this week? Ooh, temptation is here. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, okay. And stand your ground. So you will be tempted. So with the spiritual, material, spiritual prosperity, I feel like you guys are in a good energy. You're in a good vibe. You're in an up and up. Something's working for you. It's about to start working for you, something like that. But there is temptation here. So whatever you're focused on, whatever you're moving towards, like it's good for you. It's working. Like I said, it's about to work. Like you're on your focus. You're good. But the temptation is showing up here. Some of you guys, it could be a Capricorn or it's just um, a situation or a person that is either like not good for you, it's gonna slow you up, um, it's gonna distract you. Um, be cautious that it's just not your own, you know, um, thoughts, your own behaviors. Be cautious that you're not like doing this to yourself. But I do feel like this is like some sort of energy outside of yourself, air signs that's presenting itself to you this week. Um, but you are standing your ground, or the advice is to stand your ground. Don't let this in, don't let it get to you, don't fall for the tricks, don't you know, entertain it, whatever it means for you, because we also have disruption right behind that. Now, the earth signs had this pop out, so, um, and this is Capricorn energy, so you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, something about the, the energy could be significant, um, or just the energy of Taurus season could be, you know, there's something or someone showing up here as like a distraction or a temptation. We also have solitude here, which is Virgo energy, so more earth energy, um, and I feel like the fact that you are standing your ground, or you will be like not letting up on something, not letting up on your boundaries, you will be standing your ground. In a certain area of your life is disturbing somebody. Somebody is very upset because you have isolated yourself from them or you're just focused on yourself. You're focused on your studies. Your mind is made up. Like mentally, this person cannot, um, they might not know what you're thinking or something like that, but like they cannot break you or maybe you already know what they're up to or you've already mastered something here. Um, and it's just like somebody's tactics are not working on you or something is not, you know, that's supposed to stop you, delay you. You're supposed to like fall into the energy of it. Like it's not working here. Um, and as long as you do stay focused, recognition and reward is what you will be receiving. Okay. Um, light car, heartache and loss, sacrifice. I'm also picking up on the energy that it's like maybe you were giving your time, energy, effort into someone. Maybe you did want it to work out. Maybe you were praising them. Maybe you were, it's like you were doing something here, but I feel like it was just too tough or, you know, the energy was working against you. The person, the situation was very difficult. And I feel like a lot about your energy has changed towards whoever, whatever this is. And you're very, you're standing very firm. You're very strong. Um, and whatever this is that you're doing this week, and it's making this person upset, 
okay air signs this is a strong energy that i got for the earth signs as well so again maybe some of y'all are dealing with the earth sign um or you have it in your chart so let's see what's going on with the tarot now we have okay we got judgment at the bottom scorpio aquarius energy um but judgment final decision you have like made up your mind already or you're making up your mind or somebody's getting a boot okay something is finalized here or will be finalized very soon let's see what's behind this we have the four of cups okay we have the lovers it's kind of like you've given um it's kind of like you guys have given up on something air signs is what i'm picking up on the ideal of it it could be actual lover um it almost feels like something just wasn't satisfying emotionally a situation a relationship whatever this is let me make sure i have these cards all upright for you guys because it looks like some of them are mixed in all right okay cool so i like to start up with all the cards upright but if they flip in reverse then that's just what's meant to be um but yeah and then we have the tower card here too there's something that's just in the um in the nine of swords the ten of swords so it's just something is just over something is just over that's just it air signs like the energy that you've given it is just over you don't feel the same you're calling it quits maybe you're making some sort of you know executive decision something or somebody is getting cut off or they've gotten cut off like there's something like that that's showing up here for you guys this week so let's see and of course with the energy that showed up it's like i don't feel like they are happy about it but that doesn't seem like that's a you problem air signs okay um at least for this week you don't feel like that's your problem so let's see clarity confirmation for my gemini's libras and aquarius for this week so i'm doing the sprays a little bit differently the first card is going to be who or what is coming towards you okay the second card is going to be how you um how you feel about it how you view it and then the third card is going to be the overall uh outcome or like your actions towards it so let's see who slash what is coming towards the air signs this week spirit the high priestess okay so it could be a pisces um it could be somebody with like some sort of like hidden intentions here somebody is very secretive somebody with like a hidden motive or something like that could be coming towards you guys what else so how do you feel about it the ten of coins is here okay now the high priestess also is giving me the energy of for some of you guys this is something you've been trying to manifest you've been trying to make it happen um maybe you've been working on it in silence or maybe this is just something something good that's coming towards you like you don't even see it coming that could be what it is too um so whether you're expecting this or not there could be something coming in okay that's very lucrative in terms of like work finances your job um in terms of like your health something is very something very good is happening here something's making you very happy um it's going to provide longevity here and again, it could be like money. It could be a business opportunity. For some of you guys, it's linked to like family or home or something like that. What's going to be the overall outcome slash your actions? Okay. Ooh, the Empress is here. Okay. So uh, Taurus and Libra energy showing up here. So I feel like whatever this is, maybe it's like an opportunity. Okay. Whatever this is, it's like you're owning it air signs um this could be a, a like a contract a relationship especially with this ten of coins being here something is helping you level up i wanted to say something is giving you your flowers so maybe there's some sort of recognition appreciation maybe somebody is actually giving you flowers here um but the empress is a really good energy in terms of like the overall outcome or how you're you're handling it okay you could just be in this empress energy of choosing yourself, not letting something or someone affect you. But we'll clarify a little bit further to see exactly who and what this is for you. At the bottom, we have the two of swords. Okay, so two of swords, the temperance is here. Okay, yeah, the death card, the emperor is here. Now, I do feel like what's crazy is I'm getting a different storyline for some of you there is a person everything i just said about finances and all that good stuff is still valid but for some of you there is a person because two sources here like somebody's trying to get you in 
your head about something here. Or somebody might be trying to offer you a commitment, okay? But they don't want you to see the downfall to this commitment, okay? Whether it's you buying a car, you know, signing for a car or a house or somebody wanting to like be in a relationship with you, a friendship or something like that. Um, the emperor is, you know, a boss figure. It's a masculine figure. It's a father figure here. It could be somebody, it's really giving me somebody, especially with the hermit, palace of cups, the sun card. It's giving me somebody that wants to gain some sort of control over you. Um, it is giving me somebody, you know, like you've had experience with this person or this situation before with the death card, the temperance, and the two of swords. I just don't like the two of swords here. Like somebody is trying to like confuse your judgment or somebody is like trying to like really mess with your intuition because we have the high priestess here. I feel like you're on a good track, okay? I feel like whatever you're releasing is the right decision for you. Whatever you're moving towards is the right decision for you. But there's somebody that's coming around that's going to try to, like, make you feel like it's not the right decision or make you feel like they should be a part of it or something like that. Um, something here could, like, really cloud your judgment if you allow it to do so, Air Signs, is the message that I'm getting. So don't allow it to do so okay whoever whatever this is but let's clarify let's see what's this high priestess energy for my air signs gemini libra aquarius for this week why is the high priestess here why is the high priestess here Some of you guys are just making really good decisions or a really good decision or something that you, you know, decided on or you did in the past, you initiated in the past is really paying off this week too. What's the high priestess? The temperance card, Sagittarius, the knight of pentacles. Okay. Um, and the strength card is here. Leo energy. Somebody wants to make peace with you. Okay, but the judgment card, the judgment card has showed up here twice. So this is like, if you are confused, like if you are sure about something and like something's happening, somebody's coming around to try to like change your mind or something like that. If you're second guessing a decision or second guessing cutting something off or cutting somebody off, don't second guess yourself because the judgment has showed up here twice. Okay, maybe you're having to reject somebody, you're having to turn, you know, something down, someone down. The three of wands is here, it could be a fire sign, nine of cups, three of swords, or somebody just feels rejected by you. 